What's up everyone? Brian Phobos here. We're going for 850,000 subscribers by the end of 2018. So subscribe if you like this video. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum and why I think that the price is going to continue to go up for the time being. So let's take a look. And this is coming from a non fanboy perspective. I've never really liked Ethereum for certain reasons. The main reason being that I don't feel like it, it really uh, fulfills the promise that it made to become a world computer. And there's going to have to be a lot of scaling done for this to become that. But basically, you see the price 1346. It's had aggressive moves in the last couple of weeks. And if you look at blocktivity here, so you see Ethereum, the needle is pegged. Um, if we get, you know, unconfirmed transactions, 18,786 gas prices have been going through the roof on Ethereum. It's really hard to develop on Ethereum because it's so expensive to operate, you know, with the gas prices. Now you see steam here, you know, not even a percentage utilization and it has the record for the most transactions in a 24 hour period of time. So as far as platforms go, for Ethereum to only run really two applications being Ether Delta and CryptoKitties and that in itself, and then the additional transactions to, you know, send, send Ether around to the different exchanges and everything that, that whole thing is kind of pegging it. So, um, that's kind of a major issue sort of going forward, but I think for the price, perspective it's going to continue to rise now i think during the summer like more into the fall you know it definitely saw a dip and i think some of that was some of these initial icos sold out their ethereum for us dollars cashing out and that kind of sack you know that kind of weighed on the price and bitcoin actually was functioning a little bit better than even though the fees were getting kind of high it was still functioning better then than it is now. Now it's just unusable. So at this point, when people are buying from exchanges like Coinbase, they'll essentially buy Ethereum to send over to now more popular exchanges like Binance that have Ethereum markets. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you gonna really buy Bitcoin to send over here and wait and wait and wait and wait? It's more likely you're gonna buy Ethereum to get it over there quicker. And, you know, same thing with KuCoin, you know, it's got an Ethereum market. If you look at Poloniex, it has an Ethereum market, even though it's kind of thin here, there's not a lot of choices. Um, now with Cryptopia, they do have a Litecoin market that they're closing. So that wasn't as common. A lot of the people that had, a lot of the exchanges that had Litecoin markets kind of shut those down you know, kind of previously. So it's a lot of times, a lot of times people are gravitating towards purchasing Ethereum to move it over to exchanges to buy altcoins, which makes, you know, causes there to be a lot of buy pressure. So I don't know. That's, that's what I'm thinking now. Could a lot of these ICOs end up dumping a lot of their coins and selling the Ethereum and causing a lot of sell pressure? I think that, yeah, that does happen somewhat, but for right now, because of the situation with Bitcoin being unusable, that there's a lot more buy pressure than there is sell pressure. Now you could say, well, what about Litecoin? What about Bitcoin cash? Well, you're going to have to do multiple trades for that because there's not Bitcoin cash markets. And for the most part, there's not the Litecoin markets. So if you if you transfer those, they're going to have to sell out of those to get back to Bitcoin to then buy the altcoin that you want to buy. Uh, so I just don't, I think that those additional steps is kind of stopping it. And so ultimately, even though I'm not a fanboy of Ethereum, I still hold Ethereum. And even though Bitcoin is completely unusable and ridiculous, I'm not letting that go either completely because I think that if we do end up seeing an exchange traded fund on the US markets, then Bitcoin could really, really surge from that. Um, so I don't know if that'll happen. I mean, we've been talking about an exchange traded fund on the stock market since 2013. 
So whether it happens this year or not, I'm not really sure. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'm not holding my breath for Bitcoin to scale, and I'm not holding my breath for Ethereum to scale anytime soon. Ethereum has a better chance of scaling and making improvements, but you know, when are they going to proof of stake? Who knows? But I think ultimately what will end up in the top position will be a platform. If whether it's Ethereum, whether it's Cardano, whether it's NEO, or whether it's EOS, what's going to end up in number one, I feel is going to be a platform. And to tell you the truth, I think it's going to be EOS. And I'm going to do a future video on EOS and why I think that. Um, but anyway, that's the video for today. Please subscribe and follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos. Steam it. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. See you guys later.